The World Games are coming in July of 2022. Sumo, softball, lacrosse, sport climbing, powerlifting, and more. This is the new generation of sports. Tickets are on sale. Buy today at TWG2022.com. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 26th of August. I'm James Spam. We've got some classic summer weather through Sunday. But early next week, a tropical system will likely impact Alabama. We could very well have a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico by the weekend. So a lot to talk about. This is the upper air look, the core of the upper high, a little north and west of the state. And again, that's going to just set up a classic summertime day today and most likely classic summer weather through Sunday with heat, humidity, sun, scattered storms about. Radar early this morning showing nothing a little before 5 o'clock, but we'll see more scattered storms developing after the lunch hour today. Temperatures are mostly in the 70s this morning. Highs today, I'd say around 90 or low 90s in most locations, which is where we should be in late August. Heat advisories for areas west and northwest of the state today. Chance of severe storms. In fact, an enhanced risk today for parts of Minnesota and Iowa. Uh, other risks for parts of the High Plains, the Midwest. Tomorrow, chance of severe storms up in the same region. And really the same thing on day three, which is Saturday as the weekend begins. Rain for the next seven days. The big numbers over the western Gulf Coast with our tropical feature. And understand this could easily change as we get better clarity on the future of the tropics. But you can see some really big numbers across Louisiana, Mississippi, into West Alabama. And it looks like Alabama will be on the wet east side of the circulation early next week. And again, just be aware that this could change as we get better clarity on the uh, what is now Invest 99L. Three systems on the board in the tropics. So we've got 99L in the Caribbean with a 90% chance of becoming a depression or storm within couple of days and if that's the first one to get a name it's going to be Ida and then we've got the system that is located east of Bermuda that is headed out will not affect the United States and the uh, system that is in the lower latitudes in the East Atlantic that will probably recurve as well if that develops so needless to say the focus is on uh, invest 99L so this is the ATCF set and over the past 24 hours, the guidance continues to shift to the right. And you can see this is suggesting landfall on the Louisiana coast, really by maybe late Sunday or Sunday night. This is the GFS Ensemble. Most all the members are on the Louisiana coast as well. You've got some outliers, uh, South Texas and Mobile Bay, but again, clearly the mean is through Louisiana. And the Canadian, just for the fun of it, pretty much the same thing. And remember, this could change. No doubt this could change. The system hasn't even formed yet. Uh, but that's the way it looks now. This is the Hurricane Wharf, a little farther to the west, showing uh, landfall around Sabine Pass, the Texas-Louisiana border. Intensity guidance. This could easily be a major hurricane. I mean, I'll just tell you that. Uh, some of the uh, models do suggest that. Uh, some keep it a Category 1 hurricane, but clearly there's a good chance we will have a hurricane in the Gulf this weekend. So let's go to the GFS model fans. This is the 06E run, valid today at 4. Uh, typical summertime ridge here, and again, typical summertime weather. Uh, we'll see a few scattered storms about. Not going to rain everywhere. Where the storms do form, they'll be pretty efficient. Rain producers, low 90s in most spots. Same thing tomorrow, partly sunny, a few scattered storms, and that'll be the theme for the weekend. Uh, this is Saturday, a mix of sun and clouds with scattered storms, the tropical system south of Pensacola. And then Sunday, this is Sunday afternoon at 4, the GFS brings it up toward southeast Louisiana, New Orleans, the mouth of the Mississippi River, uh, as uh, probably a hurricane. And uh, again, uh, that's going to put Alabama on the east, wet, unsettled side of the system. Uh, this is Sunday at 4 o'clock off the European. It's a tad slower, a little farther to the west. And uh, again, let's go to Monday. We'll stick with the European. It's got the tropical system inland across central Louisiana. Uh, this is the GFS. It is closer to Tallulah, Louisiana, and Vicksburg, Mississippi. But uh, understand, on this track here, we could see heavy rain for parts of Alabama, especially the western half of the state, and also potential for a few isolated tornadoes. Keep that in mind. In fact, this is Tuesday. The remnant low is located uh, to the east of Memphis, and that's a pretty favorable setup for a lot of rain and 
statewide and maybe a few isolated tornadoes. And understand, we can't really be specific about the impact and the timing and the threat levels here because this system hasn't even formed yet. This could look a good bit different here in a day or two. We're just showing you what the possibilities are for now. And then Wednesday, the remnant low near Nashville. And then a week from today, Thursday, the 2nd of September, a broad troughing in the east that would be in association with the system. And again, the uh, system lifts out, but still leaving a lot of moisture about. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday, September 4th. Got a 594 ridge kind of nosing in here, and that looks pretty quiet. And maybe another tropical system down there in the Gulf. But this is 10 days out, and we all know the GFS is famous in September for placing bogus tropical systems on the board. So rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. Talk about a big spread. You got members that go from little rain to over 10 inches. So you look for the mean, and that's about 2 inches. And again, once we get better clarity on the tropical system, we'll have a better idea of how much rain to expect next week. We do think heat levels will come down, low 90s through Sunday, and then highs in the 80s for much of next week, maybe mid-80s on Tuesday and Wednesday with a lot of clouds and rain. And the CPC outlook, this is for September 2nd through September the 8th. Temperatures here would be a little above average if this works out. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day, teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms, and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, be prepared, not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook. Dot com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared, not scared. Get your kids a copy today.